we've been incredibly lucky so far, haven't we? A dry Wimbledon week. Next week, we might not be so fortunate. Now, it hasn't been a scorcher, certainly. The heat has been reserved for much further south in Spain. Zaragoza reached 39 degrees during Thursday. That's up into the hundreds Fahrenheit. Now, it will be turning cooler and fresher across many central and eastern areas during this coming weekend. That will be a welcome relief for many, although it looks as though Spain will still be in that searing heat. So for Saturday, the shower is getting across to eastern areas then, and that's good news because in areas like Hungary, we've seen some terrific forest fires during the last few days. Well, back home, it's fairly dry just at the moment and is set to stay that way for most of the rest of today. But then we're going to gradually find the cloud and rain increasing from the northwest, and that will gradually head its way southwards as we go through the day tomorrow. So is it going to rain in Wimbledon tomorrow? That's the question at the moment. It certainly looks as though the cloud will be increasing during the day. We could have bad light by the end of the matches, I think. And we might just see one or two spots of rain turning up after about 7 o'clock. So let's keep our fingers crossed. But next week, as I said, it doesn't look quite as promising. Far more unsettled weather and at times rather windy. So Glastonbury, if you're heading there, well, for the next couple of days, it looks fairly dry. But Saturday and Sunday evening, we'll both see something in the way of rain. Back to today, then generally a dry picture for many of us. Fairly cloudy now. The best of sunshine is going to be down in the south this afternoon. And along the east coast, we might just see one or two showers and also in the far north and west where the cloud will be thickening up. Temperatures today, nothing to write home about really, 16 to 18 degrees. But if you are out and about, this uh, northwesterly breeze is making it feel a little bit on the cool side. Overnight tonight, that cloud and rain sinking its way southwards will get into northern England and northwest Wales by the end of the night. But further south, it will be dry. Not a cold night, 7 to 10 degrees. But if you are camping out at Wimbledon, take that extra blanket because the breeze again will make it feel a little bit on the cool side. Into the weekend, we find the weather fronts rattling in from the west. That means more in the way of cloud and rain heading its way southwards. Temperatures at the highest around 20 degrees. And then on Sunday, one weather front in the east, another one coming in from the west. That generally means a cloudy scenario, really. The best of any brightness through these central areas and down to the southwest. And then into next week, we lose one weather front from the southeast, only to find yet another weather system coming in from the west. So all in all, it is going to be more unsettled next week. That cloud in the east pushing away to be replaced by more general cloud and rain on Tuesday and some strong 